going on guys? Chris Barakat here, representing Competitive Breed. I want to give you guys a quick tip on training your triceps, specifically the lateral head. First of all, let's talk about what the triceps primary function is. It's elbow extension, so literally just extending at your elbow joint. Um, but also, it extends your shoulder joint too. The long head of your tricep assists with shoulder extension. So there's a few misconceptions when it comes to tricep training. I want to kind of clarify that and then give you a tip for the lateral head. So a lot of people say that doing anything overhead tricep extension based is really good for the long head. And that's true in an eccentric fashion. You're getting the greatest stretch on your long head when your shoulder joint is in a flexed position. However, if you want to get the long head of your tricep as short as possible, you actually want to be doing extensions with your shoulder extended as well to get that long head fully short. However, here, you also hear that it doesn't matter which way your palms are facing supinated neutral or which way your shoulders are rotated, the triceps gonna fire regardless as one full muscle, and that's completely true. However, you can align tension in a certain way to kind of put more stress on a certain area of your tricep. So just like you're doing an incline press, we understand it's gonna hit the clavicular fibers of your pec more compared to a flat press. When you're doing these tricep rope extensions, if you're internally rotated at your shoulder joint, this way, and then extending, you're gonna feel a lot of stress on your lateral head of your tricep. All heads of your tricep are gonna fire at once because that's just how the muscle works and functions. However, you're gonna align a lot of tension with that lateral head, so give this a try. It's something that Jim Cordova really made popular in like the mid-2000s. He's one of the best natural bodybuilders of all time, so give that a look. So I'm internally rotated at the shoulder joint, and I'm extending, holding the fully shortened position for a second. You'll literally feel more tension on that lateral head of your tricep, the same way you feel more tension on the clavicular fibers of your upper chest, so to speak, right, when you're doing an incline press. So it's not like it's isolating the lateral head, you're just putting more stress on it. So I hope you guys learned something new from that video. Um, I didn't make an outro while I was at the gym, so I'm just putting this together really quick. But if you haven't seen some of the previous content I've done on this YouTube channel, please check it out. Um, I am going to try to set up the EMG at the Human Performance Lab at the University of Tampa where I work and give this, um, this principle a run while utilizing the EMG to see if we can get different amount of tricep activation depending on how we're performing our rope extension. So stay tuned for that. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below and please subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. Thanks guys.